Okay, so we're moving on to page four of Haven. And I'm continuing the line edit. Pale glow lanterns lighted the private courtyard and stone tub. Now, glow is a magical quality in Rebecca's world. And remember we talked about using italics instead of um, capitalizing it. So she chose to um, capitalize it. So it's just a personal choice. I'm not sure about lighted. I would use, usually I use lit. Um, lighted. The private courtyard and stone tub. But he was setting the scene. This is Rebecca setting the scene. And I think we can do better than this. How about illuminated? It's a little bit more fancy, but I think it's called for here. She's setting a very pretty scene. How about just a suggestion? Um, pale glow lanterns illuminated the private courtyard and stone tub. And Laura leaned on one door. Laura leaned on one doorway, studying the back of Marahu's head and shoulders as he soaked. Okay, so he's in a tub, right? I think it would be better as against a doorway. Studying the back of his head as he soaked. She slid out of the silk robe. Oh, Alora. Okay, and crossed the flagstones to stand a pace behind him. She slid out of the silk robe. How about... She slipped off. Not just because I'm replacing three words with two, but I kind of feel like you see this, um, the silk rope, her silk rope, coming off better. She slid out of the silk rope, slipped off. Yeah, I think I prefer slipped off. And cross the flagstone to stand a pace. Do we need this? She slipped off her slow crow. She slipped off her slow crow. Slip out. Slip off. I think I prefer off. I think I prefer she slipped off her slow crow and crossed the flagstones to stand behind him. Because if you stand behind somebody, it's, it's a pace. So I think that's implied. Her almost sheer caught... Almost sheer. I don't think we need this. This is kind of like a filler word. Her sheer cotton shift flowed around her calves in a stray breeze, but the night was still too warm and humid for comfort. So it was nice to have the stray breeze, but it was still hot. It was, it was still warm and humid. Okay. Yeah, I don't want almost. I don't think we need it. Her sheer cotton shift flowed around her calves in a stray breeze. That's a very pretty picture. But the night was still too warm and humid for comfort. So the stray breeze is welcome, but not enough. Okay. Okay, how about something like this? The stray breeze is welcome. A sheer cotton shift flowed around her calves in a stray breeze, welcome in the warm and sultry night. Sultry is just a bit more sensual than humid. Humid, it's almost like you, you're telling us the temperature, I mean the, the weather, right? Where sultry has some sensual elements in it. So it's just a word choice. The lights accentuated. You know what? This is a pretty scene, so let's make it pretty. Lantern light. Accentuate the breadth of the shoulders. Yep, 
Denton might accentuate, accentuated the breadth of his shoulders and muscles of his arms, caught the tracery of old animal scars along his skin, and turned his blue hair black. Nice, very nice. She'd never seen him with a shirt off. Oh, and Laura. <laughs> and she paused and blushed at how much she enjoyed the view. Of course you do. Okay, so she never seen him with a shirt off, and she paused and blushed at how much she enjoyed the view. That's good. The almost... Mm, no, I don't like almost. I got rid of that almost. I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. Almost colorless gloom of animal arcs. How about just the pale bloom of animal arcs? Would that work? The pale bloom of animal arcs in the center of his back stretched, questing through the air until they brushed her face and washed over her shoulders. Do we need a cross? Even on a hot summer night, his ox felt warm. Even on a hot summer night, his ox felt warm. Why even? Even on a hot summer night, even on a hot summer night, his ox... Hmm. Let me think. Even on a hot summer night, his ox felt warm. I mean, there's no contradiction there. Why even? His ox felt warm on her flushed skin, something like that, maybe. Not sure about the even. His ox felt warm on her flushed skin. So usually when I make suggestions like this, Rebecca will ignore them and come up with something even better. So I'm not too attached <laughs> to my suggestions. She had no ox to respond with. Hers had been brutally stripped from her as a youth, but she relaxed her oral shields. Sensation was intensified. Fizzing through her mental and emotional awareness until goosebumps rose on her arms. Mm, that's really nice. Okay. But, I think we don't need this, it's a bit clunky, this, this long sentence, she had no ox to respond with hers, brutally stripped from her. As a youth. And I think that's one sentence. Instead, how about instead she relaxed? Yeah, because she doesn't have those, she doesn't have the arcs, but she has the oral shield. So I think we can use them instead here. Instead, she relaxed her oral shield. She had no ox to respond with. Hers brutally stripped. Now, um, grammatically, it might be better to put hers having been brutally stripped. But, she had no ox to respond with. Hers brutally stripped from her youth. Hers having been. I don't really think, I mean, the sense is quite clear, but to be absolutely proper and correct, we should have this. She had no ox to respond with, hers having been brutally stripped from her as a youth. Instead, she relaxed her oral shields, or she relaxed her oral shields instead. No, I think I like it here. The sensations, the sensation of his animal intensified, fizzing through her mental and emotional awareness until goosebumps rose on her arms. I want to talk. She stretched her arm up. Alora said that. Hmm. 
Bathing in the warm pricking sensation of the animal, it's personal. Really? You want to talk now, Alua? Hmm. He drew his ox in close. Don't keep me out. She pulled the ribbon. Well, of course you would do that. You said you wanted to talk. <laughs> and then you said, don't keep me out. Okay, that's very conflicted. Not in a good way. Um, <laughs> I want to talk. Hmm. Well, of course he doesn't want to talk, does he? Don't get me out. She pulled the ribbon from the end of her braid and shook out the silver green cascade of her hair. Oh, how pretty that is, okay? Before taking the last two steps to the tub, maybe just and took. So that's two syllables instead of four. And just read smoother. She pulled the ribbon from the end of her braid and shook out the silver green cascade of her hair and took the last two steps to the tub. If we do that, then we'll remove that and and add an Oxford comma here and took the last two steps to the tub. Okay, yeah, I want to talk. It's personal. And he slams the shields down. <laughs> hmm. Stroking his still damp hair. I don't think we need this. Um, still damp implies that he has finished his bath. But we don't know that. How about just damp hair? She let her aura brush his shoulders. Her fingers followed. Her fingers followed. His arms held tight to his skin. His aura clung closed and black, and his body tensed. Laura, and disturbance rippled through his aura. We can talk after. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Let me think. Why am I confused? Because he was the one who quested for her, and maybe that was just to see who it was, okay? And then she had to say, I want to talk. <laughs> um, and then he kind of closed himself off. Don't keep me out. Stroking his damp hair, she let her aura brush. Okay, so now she touches him. Her fingers followed. Ah, okay, so, hmm. So he is actually rejecting her. His arms held tight to his skin. His aura clung closed and black, and his body tensed. So all that bit about his um ox questing in the air was just to see who it was so when he knew that it was her and that she wanted to talk he drew his ox in close okay he drew his ox close Stroking his damp hair, she let her aura brush his shoulders. Okay, now she's coming on to him. Okay, her fingers followed. Oh yeah, definitely. So she's making herself very clear. His ox held tight and he's like, uh, nope. Hmm, I'm kind of disappointed. Laura, a disturbance rippled through his aura. We can talk after. After what? That's my question. <laughs> okay, so I'm, a, I'm 
pretty sure that we find out, um, and it's going to be good stuff. But I think I need to let Rebecca know that it was a little confusing for me that when he quested out with his ox, he wasn't, it was just to, to see who it was. And it seems that it was only when, when she responded by relaxing her shield that he knew it was her and ah okay so I want to talk it's personal and he's like saying we can talk after but after his bath pretty sure that's what he means but I was a little bit confused here <laughs> okay okay I think I need Rebecca to to maybe um, expand a tiny bit so that when he's questing maybe something here just to show that he's only um, trying to figure out who it was because I, I thought I kind of assumed that he knew it was her behind him okay tiny bit confusing there Good. Now this is a very pretty scene, right? And and we can't afford any confusion. <laughs> 